Michigan residents could be charged with the felony up to five years in prison and get a $10,000 fine for using the wrong pronouns under unconstitutional no bill. I'm Tricky Mick and today's topic is the freedom of speech, the most important freedom in the United States. And I would say the most important freedom in the world that should be protected because without the freedom of speech, you don't have the freedom of ideas in the first place to even allow any type of thought process like this to even exist. So let's get started right into it. Michigan residents could be charged with the felony, face up to five years in prison, and get a $10,000 fine for using the wrong pronouns under unconstitutional new, new bill. The Michigan House has approved a hate speech bill, HB 4474, that would criminalize causing someone to feel threatened by words. The bill aims to replace the current Ethnic Intimidation Act and includes sexual orientation and gender identity or expression as protected classes. That's right. Even though there are some scientific evidence to prove and suggest otherwise, we're being told that only one truth exists in this now. Offenders could face up to five years in prison for the felony offense. Some have argued that the legislation could infringe on free speech rights because it absolutely does infringe on free speech rights. Uh, I don't know who is saying that they argued that it could, but it definitely does. And anyone who says otherwise is just plainly lying to you for no reason. So let's keep moving forward. Michigan's House of Representatives has passed a hate speech bill known as HB 4474, which criminalizes causing someone to feel threatened by words, including the misusing of their pronouns, with the possibility of a hefty fine or even jail time. That's right. So if you whistle at me saying, hey there, pretty lady, you're going to be in trouble. The bill introduces hate crime penalties for causing someone to feel terrorized, frightened, or threatened with sexual orientation and gender identity or expression included as protected classes. Offenders could face up to five years in prison for such a felony offense or a $10,000 fine. It is part of a continued effort by Democrats in the state to advance a pro-LGBTQ plus agenda in their first months in power. The, exposed, the proposed legislation aims to replace the existing Ethnic Intimidation Act and extends protection against intimidation. So what do you think about this? Do you think that this is right for the free speech to be limited of Americans? For the free speech to be limited of anyone across the border, whether that be Canada, Mexico, China, anywhere around the world. I think that at its very core, preventing the freedom of speech prevents freedom from happening at all. Well, I'm Tricky Mick, and this is today's topic, so I'll catch you next time.